two of the competencies are health advocacy yep. and uh, cultural, obviously the cultural competence and safety. Yeah. Um, those are two competencies that uh, I personally have felt that I'm not exposed to as much on things that we can do. Uh, what are some examples of things we can work towards building up competencies in both of those domains? Yeah. Um, okay. Good question there. Um, so one of the one of the challenges that sometimes we see some of these competencies as esoterical, um, and you know the things that you maybe might pick up ad hoc and by chance. But really, what we've worked out is that in fact each one of these competencies are observable. They're certainly tr um, trainable, and you can measure them. You can measure the performance. So. You know, a good example of health advocacy is seeing a patient and understanding that they have health problems such as um, that they've been overweight or they smoke or their diabetic control's not very good. And you might think, well, those are sort of medical problems. Well, you know, those medical problems may preclude them having an operation. So you then have to work with them to actually say, OK, these are the sort of things um, you need to be able to start pursuing and maybe start to make some of those connections for them. You know, get them to see a dietitian, talk to them about some of the medications or dietary uh, methods of actually reducing weight. Um, you know, cigarette smoking, how, how do you give up cigarette smoking? So difficult you know, from what I see. I don't smoke, but I, you know, a lot of patients find it extremely difficult. So you need to actually support them in those, in, in those um, endeavors. So, you know, that's sort of the health advocacy um, side of things. I think the cultural uh, competence and safety is really about being aware and start to practice that, okay, um, you know, this person is of this particular ethnic background and they, and they have very strong cultural beliefs in certain things and I need to be able to be aware of that because it means that if I'm going to get their consent I have to use certain language or certain approaches um, to actually allow that to happen. You know, I might need to ask permission whether I can actually examine someone. Of course you have to ask permission all the time, but there may be some types of examinations in some people who um, may actually be taboo. So you have to think about other ways or uh, ways around that. Um, and so actually being aware of that at the time and then putting into practice sort of things that you may have learnt around cultural competence and, and cultural safety. And so it's not something that we'd expect that you just pick up as you're going along. Um, it's something that we say, okay, this is the learning opportunity. Some of it may be courses, others may be things that we want you to read and others will be put into practice. Um, and they're the sort of things you then actually put into practice.